<laughs> are you thinking of starting architecture? If you are, you've probably got the question or the concern. Do you need to be good at math? You might struggle with math, or you might be on the other end where you absolutely love doing math and you want it to be a part of your everyday life and your career later on. I want to help confirm for you whether you need to be good at math in order to study architecture. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Kyle. I want to split this up into two parts. First of all, do architects need to be good at math? And secondly, do you need to be good at math in order to study architecture? So for the first question, it's pretty well known that architects need to be good at math, right? Is this really the case? Well, yes. Architects do need to have some general knowledge in mathematics. There are times where you need to calculate stair rises and goings, how long a wall should be in terms of what material you're using. For example, if you're using a brick, you can't just go saying that the wall is going to be five meters long. You need to work out a length for that wall that accommodates the length of a brick. But this is some very, very basic mathematics. It doesn't take a math specialist to work out how many bricks fit into a five meter wall. Therefore, you need to understand some basic mathematic arithmetic, nothing more advanced than what you learn in your first years of schooling. You don't need any calculus. You don't don't need any trigonometry unless you want to be an architectural engineer. In that case, then yes, you need to be good at math. So does being good at math make you a better architect? Sure, having knowledge in math is going to help you. Being good at math is all about solving problems and requires deep thinking. And this is inherently what architecture is all about, being a problem solver. Does being bad at math make you worse of an architect? No, it does not. If you don't know basic mathematics because you didn't pass primary school, you can be valuable elsewhere. Architecture is a profession involving so many different skills from creativity to business to management to personal relations to analytics and technical data and software skills and so many other different skills you can be good at. Mathematics is a very small portion of what architecture is and if you're not great at it, Mathematics is a very small portion of what architecture is and if you're not great at it, you have specialists who can help you out with that anyways in the profession or you have people in the office with you who can help you. So architects do need to have some very basic mathematic knowledge. But do you need to be good at maths to study architecture? You don't need to be good at math to study architecture. Let me explain. Already being good at math is going to be beneficial, sure, but you can enter architecture school with no previous knowledge. The reason for this is because there are no prerequisites to study architecture in Australia anyways. You don't need to complete any previous math courses in order to study architecture. And because there are no prerequisites, it's assumed you know nothing at all. It's expected you learn everything along the way. You don't need Pythagoras, you don't need calculus, you don't need trigonometry. Having these things and challenging yourself in high school is definitely not a bad idea. Studying the more difficult mathematics in these previous years before university is going to be beneficial, sure. But you don't need to be particularly skillful in any of these to get started in architecture. It's expected you learn everything in your degree. And if you are willing to learn with an open mind, you'll become a successful architect for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up on it. It really does help out. And if you haven't already and you're new around here, please do hit that subscribe button and uh, stick around for next videos because we get a lot of content coming out. I'm doing a 30 day challenge at the moment. I'm on day eight, I think, of putting out a video every single day. So make sure you've subscribed. And if you're someone who just usually watches these videos all the way through, I really appreciate that. But if you just hide in the shadows, you don't say anything. I don't know who you are. So uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and know uh, a bit more about you. Once again, thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>